Do you know dependability is a number one quality that is most often sought after in the business world? Yes, you heard that right. You see, my friends, being dependable is like having a superpower in the workplace. It's about being the person everyone can count on, the one who always delivers, and trust me, it can make all the difference in your career. In this video, I will share with you nine great tips that could help you demonstrate dependability in your career. Tip number one is living up to your promise. It sounds so simple, right? But let's be honest, we've all fallen into the trap of over-promising and under-delivering at some point. I mean, who hasn't walked out of a meeting agreeing to five things when they could barely handle their coffee that morning? But seriously, when you commit to something, write it down, set reminders, tattoo it on your forehead if you have to, just kidding, kind of, whatever it takes. Because when you consistently follow through, you build trust and respect. Remember those world's best boss mugs Michael used to buy himself? Well, being dependable is like earning that mug for real without the awkward self-congratulation. Now that brings us to tip number two, punctuality and timeliness. Okay, I get it, sometimes life throws you a curveball. Traffic jams, alarm clock fails, you accidentally boarded a plane to Jamaica instead of the office. Hey, it happens. But for the most part, being on time is about respect for other people's time. Plus, it avoids those awkward moments when you're scrambling for your laptop while everyone's staring at you. You know, that moment when you wish you could just disappear like Dwight in a beat-stained panic. So set those alarms, plan your commutes, and maybe invest in a good watch. Your colleagues and your reputation will thank you. Next, moving on to the third tip, responsiveness. We've all been on the receiving end of radio silence after sending an important email. It's like yelling into the void, except the void is probably just someone's overflowing inbox. And on the flip side, no one wants to be bombarded with unnecessary messages every five minutes. Remember Michael's threat level midnight emails? Yeah, let's not do that. The key is to be responsive without being overwhelming. Acknowledge emails, give realistic timelines, and actually follow up when you say you will. Tip number four is about being organized. Now, I'm not saying you need to have a workspace that's worthy of a magazine cover, but let's just say if your desk looks like a tornado ripped through a filing cabinet, it might be a sign that your work life needs a little organization too. Think of it like this. Every item in its place is like a completed task off your mind. You'll be surprised how much mental clarity you gain when you're not constantly searching for that elusive sticky note with the important password. Let's now discuss the fifth tip, which is about meeting the deadlines. Yes, the word alone is enough to send shivers down anyone's spine. But hey, they're not all bad. Think of them as opportunities to channel your inner superhero. Remember that time Pam pulled an all-nighter to finish the graphics for Dunder Mifflin Infinity? Okay, maybe not the all-nighter part, but the point is, meeting deadlines shows you can handle the pressure and deliver results. Break down large tasks, prioritize, and don't be afraid to ask for help if you need it. Moving on to tip number six, accountability. We all make mistakes, it's part of being human. It's like that time Michael accidentally, well, you know, pretty much every Michael Scott moment ever. But the important thing is to own up to your mistakes, learn from them, and move on. Blaming others or making excuses might seem like the easy way out. But trust me, taking responsibility will earn you more respect in the long run. That brings us to tip number seven, making follow-ups. You know, in the wise words of Wayne Gretzky, okay, maybe he wasn't talking about follow-up emails, but the principle still applies. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Following up shows you're invested and keeps things moving forward. But remember, there's a fine line between a gentle nudge and becoming the office stalker. Keep it brief, polite, and to the point. Let's now discuss the second to last tip, which is our teamwork. The foundation of any successful, okay, you know the drill. But seriously, being a reliable team player is crucial. It's about supporting your colleagues, being there to lend a helping hand, even if it means listening to someone vent about the office coffee machine for the hundredth time, and working together towards a common goal. Finally, tip number nine is being consistent. 
You know, being dependable isn't a one-time thing. It's about showing up consistently day in and day out. It's like brushing your teeth. You wouldn't just do it once a week and expect to have pearly whites, would you? Okay, maybe Dwight would, but that's beside the point. The more you practice dependability, the more it becomes ingrained in your work ethic, and the more others will see you as someone they can always rely on. So there you have it, folks. Nine dependability hacks that are sure to make you the office MVP. Most valuable professional, that is. Remember, being dependable isn't about being perfect. It's about being someone people can count on. Now tell me about a time you went above and beyond in the dependability department, or even a hilarious mishap where things didn't quite go as planned. Share your stories in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more career-boosting tips. See you next time.